So after many weeks of absence and uh, snowstorms and other things to do, I finally finished the Arduino-driven pickup winder. This is adapted from a design and some posted information from Pete Mills. He has a blog, petemills.blogspot.com, and I derived a lot of what I did from Pete's blog. Uh, let me talk a little bit about what this is. So this is designed to be a pickup winder and you can see here is the place where we will mount the um, pickup bobbin. It's a block of aluminum running on a steel shaft and its the second section is a tachometer uh, wind counter. Here you can see that little black stripe on a CD that mounts on it and it goes past that little black object that's facing now which is a an IR receiver transmitter pair wired up to a Schmidt trigger let's see maybe I can sneak in here so you can see it perhaps not but that little circuit sends off a pulse every time the black flag goes past it and a little bit more difficult with all of the wiring. Down here are two things. There is an Arduino sitting underneath a prototyping shield. Some components on the board. And another board right here which simply multiplexes two 20 by um, 4 displays. Pete used a uh, graphic LCD on his. I didn't want to go quite so fancy. In Pete's design, his front panel is not very different than mine, and there are some significant differences. So what you see here are the two LCDs that are multiplexed, a pair of connections for doing a, um, an ohm check. Right now it's not working the way I thought it would, and I have to check to look for shorts, but it's not important. That little hole covers a magnetic detector, essentially a hole linear flux probe so you can determine how magnetized your pole pieces are. A little different than Pete's, well I'll make it before I get to the differences, to control the functions of the software there are these one, two, up, down, left, right, black and red switches and these are all wired uh, to one analog input on the Arduino using resistors to read out which of the buttons are pushed. In addition, there's a motor enable disable switch that also in parallel turns on that LED and a, and a direction. So I'll start this up and you get some ideas of what it can do and what I'm about to do. So power is from an ATX power supply that I um, cannibalized and modified to be a lab bench supply. So we'll turn the power on. First I'll make sure the motor is in the off position so in the off chance that the um, the drive voltage is to this MOSFET down here which is wired up connected to this drill motor which provides the actual spinning. Uh, the drill motor will go up to about 720 RPM driven by a 12 volt supply uh, under the control of that MOSFET which is under the control of the Arduino. So let's turn the Arduino on and up we go. Coil winder 2. Hit black to continue. We'll hit the black button and it jumps into coil winder mode. And we can change the number of coils, number of winds with the up or the down button. And it'll add faster as I hold it longer. Same going down. But I'm going to just drop it down to a thousand so we don't spend a lot of time waiting here. And then, right now, it's not doing anything because the speed controller is at zero and the motor's off. So I'll turn the motor on. See the LED comes on. So the power to the motor is now enabled. Direction set. You don't want to flip that in the middle because I'm sure you'd do damage. So it's set to wind in one direction. And I'll now start upping the speed by pressing on the right button. And you can start to hear the, the whine 
of the uh, pulse width modulator and you can see the counts are going up, RPM are being measured and the time to finish. I know it's going to rip all the way and it's going to get noisy. And what will happen when it gets within 50 turns of finishing, it'll start to automatically slow the speed down. Now what's different about mine than Pete's is Pete used a sewing machine motor and a foot controller to control the speed. I'm just controlling everything with the Arduino, so here we go. And the motor's lined up all the way. 255 is max. There's the speed and there's the center. That'll be where I put the across the wire. And we just move it along. A little flexible coupling. Nothing else much happening. It's kind of happy. It's breaking along. When it gets within 50, you can see it's counting, it's an RPM, time to finish. Still counting down. So it looks about a thousand ish and then it just starts to slow itself down. You can see the speed control is winding down. Stops when it's just, and I've got it within a turn. Press red to finish, and we're done. And now we can go into either the winding mode, the Gauss meter mode. It's not the most debount switch in the world. The resistance mode. If we go into the Gauss meter mode, and again you press the black button to engage one of the version, one of the modes. So now the Gauss meter. Again, the buttons are a little tweaky. Right now, the raw ADC count out of this thing is 471, which simply means it's zeroed, and I can null everything out. So right now it's at zero. And if I bring this old humbucking up, you can see what will happen. I bring it up near the, the readout. It says I'm south and about 48 gauss. If I flip it over, I'm north, and not so much because I'm not over it. There we go. About the same north and south. So I'm pretty satisfied with this. I, I'm happy that Pete published this. And again, just to point out, if I flip the switch, let's, let's just run it back again in winding mode. So black to exit. And let's choose wind mode black to enter wind mode and let's uh, we'll run it just standard let's run the speed up so 16 is not quite enough so we can run it pretty slowly and I can actually back off a little bit once, once the inertia of it moving is done So to get things started, it's actually not bad. I wind it back. I'll turn it off for a moment. All I've done is cut power, and I'm going to flip the switch, turn it back on again. And it winds the other way. So one can wind in either direction. The counter doesn't care. So if you want, I can pause if I need to doesn't care there you have it so I'll try to wind something before the uh, holidays out we'll see what we get thanks for listening bye